he helped open in order because there were there were a lot of us that watched those. First order of business is to approve the previous mini meeting minutes. Do I have a motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item number one, resolution number 79, adopting a policy of paid family leave for employees of Albany County. Uh, this is uh, Allison McLean Lanes. Table at a request. Uh, She's not table at the request. She is not here. Item number two, resolution number 80. I will uh, turn it over to our council. Yes, this is um, a resolution that was put in previously. Mr. Mayo met with Mr. Mackey when he was still chair of this committee and he's also spoken to the county attorney. The resolution <coughs> form is incorrect here. It, there is now a local law in your backup with respect to this. And at this point, what we'd be looking to do is schedule, send this out as a, mo a public hearing resolution on this month's agenda. Since it is a public, since it is a local law now, and it has been around for a long time, and it was changed to a local law as a result of the activities and the input of the, the county attorney and the prior chairman of the law committee. I think that summarizes it, correct? Any questions? So the motion would be to put this out for a public hearing to be held on March 28th. So it was released when it was supposed to be released, this pack of stuff? Well, I'm sorry. Is, it, is, it, is there any reason why it's going to arrive? Did it skip any steps? No, because the individual so resolution uh, where this will be going out won't be uh, due until next week. We've seen as the local law is already in here, and we're going to have the uh, meeting. We're going to pass the um, resolution for the public hearing to be held on the 28th, and then the uh, local law that wind up going out the following month. So, uh, because this has been in for 15 months, there's still time on our political calendar to wind up uh, getting the individual resolution out to uh, move it along. And it went from a uh, local law to uh, or a resolution to a local law. So yeah, resolution 80 will disappear. It'll now be local law C. So it did not just say <coughs> stop. Okay, just want to make sure. So is there a motion to move out the uh, sure public hearing. Public hearing. Yes, Second. Mr. Stevens. Stevens, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Current business, amending resolution 165 for 2016 regarding the consideration of the county applicants for the positions of part-time paramedics and part-time emergency medical technicians for the county's advanced life support and EMT programs. Sheriff. Mr. Chairman, we've uh, annually we go through this. We've done continuous aggressive recruitment for our part-time paramedics and part-time emergency medical technicians. Um, we've done it through social media. We've handed uh, flyers out to Remo, all the hospitals, all the part-time or all the volunteer organizations. Um, we just can't fill the slots, and we're running into a situation where there's more of a burden on our EMTs and paramedics now than more than ever. Um, we've absorbed the Voorsville. Um, area ambulance squad. Um, we're about to absorb Rensselaerville rescue squad. So the services are needed and we're asking permission again to go outside the county to hire part-timers. Obviously in the future any preference for full-time is always for the county, but um, we desperately need to, to seek uh, outside. Absolutely. Is there a motion on the floor? Mr. Miller, is there a second? Mr. Can I Stevens? have a question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not related to Pat. It, it, just related in general. I noticed in your in your letter, you, you note that you have trouble because of the disparity in salary. Oh yes. What's the what's the gap? Um, or if you could just give it us could, a it, it, it averages anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars for full time. Yeah. And what about the part time? Part time, it's about three to five dollars an hour difference. Some well, there's one town in the county that's um, much higher than everyone, but for the rest of them, we're about three to five under. In in the budget, I mean, just because I don't know, did, have you tried to? get that raise? Has there been a roadblock for um, that? Yeah, you, what this situation is, sir, is that this is, um, we contract with the towns. Like, Bethlehem is one of our largest um, contracted uh, mm -hmm. provider. And so if we have a major increase, they have to push that back. Mm -hmm. And with the tax cap, it's been very problematic. So we're always looking for different ways to try to get them funding. Um, they are, in fact, unionized as well. But again, if there's a big surge in salary, that gets pushed back to the towns and usually will affect the uh, tax cap drastically. And how long is the training that you need? 
to in, to be qualified as an EMT? I think uh, paramedic training is um, like a minimum of a year or something to that effect. So it, an EMT, it's, there's a long process to get done to get in six somebody. months. The paramedic training now, a lot of it is done in Hudson Valley, and it's very similar to an associate's degree. Okay. So that would be two years. I'd just like to state for the record that, you know, this is similar we hear from a lot of department heads that we're not competitive. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see further initiatives to make key positions competitive, like medical personnel, in terms of salary. Thank you. Do we noted. We have a second by Mr. Stevens on the... Uh, Item number three on our agenda, all those in favor? All those opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Item number four, authorizing the Department of Residential Health Care Facilities to consider out-of-county applicants for the positions of registered nurse, licensed practitioner <coughs> nurse, and certified nursing assistant. I'm sure, Mr. Slackey, you have uh, the same that our, uh, we need to go elsewhere because our jobs are probably uh, not as competitive that we can look at. Well, I, I think it's... Yes, it has something to do with being competitive, and that's why we're working with 1199, um, trying to figure out a way to increase our base salaries for CNAs, which is the primary problem, even though we do have problems with registered nurses, not LPNs, registered nurses and CNAs, really CNAs, <clears throat> has been really difficult to, to fill. And um, it has to do with salaries, but more so supply and demand. There's just not enough CNAs to go around. Um, Saturation and, of Albany Med and a lot of yeah. the other hospitals in the area. Yeah, and if you read, I think two weeks ago, there was an article in Times Union about healthcare workers um, and home care is paying over $25,000 a year. And the argument's always been for a government staff member, well, you get great benefits and you, know, you get health and you get pension. But in today's times, you know, staff members do not look at health and they don't look at pension. They need base pay to pay their bills. And with the changes of health, where it takes 20 years to get health to life, or you have to work over 10 years to be part of, you know, really part of the pension plan. It's too far, you know, out there today for someone to say that's a true benefit to me. You can't pay me, you know, $12 an hour when I could work you know, Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's, you know, for 15, you know, um, and which one are you going to weigh out? So it, it's, it's a dollar issue, but, but more so um, it, it, it's also um, uh, a supply and demand. There's just not enough CNAs and, and healthcare workers to fill the open slots. Yesterday we had Legislative Day um, at the Capitol, and um, I was with a lot of my peers from the Albany region. Everyone has the same problem. They cannot fill their positions. Thank you for and sharing. And it's not going away. Thank you. Is there any uh, questions from uh, the committee? Is there a motion on the floor to uh, approve uh, item number four? Mr. Miller, is there a second? Mr. Stevens, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Motion passes unanimous. Item number five. Uh, amendment resolution 299 for 2014 regarding the SEIU registered nurse unit collective bargaining agreement and amending the 2017 residential health care facility budget. Right. This is uh, to bring our registered nurses who have agreed to our memorandum of understanding to settle two grievances and at the same time bring more parity to their base pay. Um, 1199 had a reopener in 2016 mm -hmm. impasse. Uh, we couldn't settle on that. They filed a grievance with PERB. In addition, they filed a second grievance that argues that they should have been getting step increases since 2010. Um, the agreement, as far as we're concerned, didn't mandate step increases. But putting that aside, we negotiated over a five-month period starting in February of 2016. Uh, toward the latter part of last year, we came up with an agreement uh, that, that we didn't use steps, but we used steps because it's the only way of giving increases by increasing the best base pay of registered nurses. Right now, our base pay for a registered nurse, and that's why we haven't been able to hire someone almost in seven months, maybe eight months, is $44,000. You're not going to be able to hire a registered nurse in, in, in the 
Albany region for $44,000. So this adjustment allows the base pay to go up to approximately $50,000 and change. There's only three people who actually work for us now that are affected, and they will get significant increases because the way the contract reads and the way civil service works, if you're increasing the base or entry level pay, those at 44 got to be brought up to the new base. So those people would be getting significant increases. Uh, these are also people that have worked there six, seven years and didn't get a raise for five, six, seven years because there were no raises from 2010 <clears throat> through 2015. So we're bringing them up to, an, to a level that we believe will open the door for more people to work for us. Um, and those that are already at step 10 will be getting um, a 1% increase for the year 2016 in, the, in effect of the stipend, uh, which is really not a lot of money, 1% of their base pay, that will be added to the base. And then they would get another 1% in added to the 1% for 17 and another 1% for 18. So the 1% goes to 2% next year and this year, meaning 17 a year we're already in. Um, th these are minor raises, a 1% raise for $40,000 person is $4,400. Half the taxes, they're taking on 300, but the RNs agree to it because they understand that it needs to be done. It, it affects probably around 10 people. The overall budget increase is over $70,000. But the actual increase, because we don't have RNs in those positions, is probably a little over $40,000. This is being paid for because we got, I, I called the New York State Department of Health through the association. <clears throat> it, it, not everyone here may know, but we participate in what's called the Advanced Training Initiative. The Advanced Training Initiative is an initiative of staff retention. And through the association, and we get $250,000 a year for that, by the way in our Medicaid rate. The association spoke to the state and they agreed that the best way to retain, retain staff is to pay them a salary that is commensurate with the industry norm. So they're allowing us to use that money, okay, to pay for this increase. So it's, it's more than budget news. We got $250,000 this year. This increase is costing us around $48,000. If we fill all the positions, it was the $78,000. So the, so the union has agreed to this, this proposal they've signed on? The union has agreed to it, signed it, and the MOU is part of your packet, and it's signed by and them. the cost of it is actually being paid by the state? It's actually being paid by the state. <coughs> I think we ought to pass this quickly before I change the mind. <laughs> Is there any comments or questions, Mr. Miller? Yeah. One question. The, the decrease of uh, 5700 on this one item, is that a vacant item? Yes. Yes. Okay. There was a turnover in that lot. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured it was. Any other I'll questions? I'll make a motion that we pass it. Motion by Ms. Miller. Is there a second? Second that. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Passage unanimous. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Slacky. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion. 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 Motion